Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Your Daily Dose. Just checking the settings because we probably want to speed through a little bit of this video. But what I thought would be cool was to showcase some hybrid teams that I found. So I actually located one in the Ministers of War, which was pretty cool. Uh, I didn't think I'd find something like this. So we're going to run this combination pretty stock standard. I could put old mate Jiang Wei in slot three, uh, probably be a little bit more optimal, but to be fair, he is sort of a tankier hero. So back row does suit him a little bit, um, but our enemy, our enemy actually is running Sun Luban, uh, Li Ling Kui, Xiao Zhi, Xiao, Zhu Gao, Dank Stash, and I forget if he actually has a transformation, but let's check this out. Now we have won one fight against them already, so I'm interested to see just how far we can go. I don't think he's running a uh, transformation, which is fine. PvP wise, I feel like it's yeah, it's pretty good. I think maybe he was originally going for a warlord build, but what I found interesting was that they really did spread out all of the. Uh, <laughs> they really spread it out. They they certainly wanted to go every single nation. I mean, I don't I don't feel like Dank Stash was a bad decision, uh, but in saying that, certainly not running the uh, Mythic Sword on Dank Stash is going to hurt you. I was amazed. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> scouring through thinking oh yeah th this looks interesting and for all intensive purposes um i can i can probably tell you just based on some of the artifacts that they're propping off i mean th this person certainly isn't afraid of spending a little bit of money being vip 10 plus um but they use their poison uh tactic against us just then it looked like it was spitting poison at us. Uh, and then they do have, I believe, Kirin as well. So Thunder Pony and Kirin. But um, I feel like this team probably is just lacking d damage overall. But certainly uh, was very interesting to see this pop up and give it a go. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this guy might... might Great Minister of War. I mean, it's it's a bit weird. I doubt the game is going to populate something so random like this. Um, I mean, it is a possibility, but... I mean, they've even got Dragon Roar Charm. They, of course, have the Earthquake Charm, which is pretty stock standard. But they are running Volley and Savior's Charm as well, which is kind of odd. Like, you wouldn't think an NPC would run that. Certainly not Thunder Beast and Kyrian at the same time. So... That was a that was pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I mean, our power level was a little bit lower than theirs, so it seemed like a reasonable fight. But what about these guys? Ooh, I'd say they're gonna wreck us, but we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll, we'll see just how far we can stress this. <laughs> I think Dashi she's gonna kill me. Uh, Dashi she's gonna one shot me. I I can already tell that's gonna be the problem. Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. And one shot. <laughs> uh, hey, but we did resurrect. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. No, no. I think I think 10 million above is a bit of a reach. Would you agree? Definitely a bit of a reach. All right. Let's just go back to this one here. It's all fun and games. But yeah, I was just wondering, um, I mean, it just seems odd to me that they would put uh, Heaven's Sword on somebody that isn't, like, uh, DPS orientated. Um, Sun Blue Barn seems to get whacked on real easy. Uh, it'd be interesting, I mean, it'd be nice to see what they run there. I mean, this guy's got legendary artifacts proccing as well. Uh, the Resurrection Scroll proc just then. Uh, we probably will see the poison scroll proc in a second. Maybe? 
I don't know what the conditions... I forget what the conditions are for the Poison Scroll to proc. I am trying to pay attention, though. Oh, there it is. Yep, yep. It proc just then. Didn't really do too much. <laughs> but in saying that, he really... They really built... They really built their uh, main protagonist as a tank, which is it's not really a bad idea. Uh, your MC is exceptionally squishy. And Volley again to remove the debuffs, dispels those. I mean, overall, really good tactic. Uh, I like the way that they're using their uh, epics and, of course, legendary uh, charms. I mean, they're not over-invested in that sense, which is it's not really a bad idea. And Gao, always tanky. Um, I love my Gao. Zhu's Gao is a, is a bomb. She's a bomb. There we go. He took a beating. Like I said, he's, he, they did build this uh, MC. I, it was so nice to be able to actually view, <laughs> to view what setups they have on these guys. Uh, Zhu's Gao, you know, taking a bit of a beating too. Salubar just getting one shot straight off the bat. And of course, World God Liao Zhang, he just, you know, he excels at situations like that. But I wanted to show that off. That was that was not just, you know, me me winning. I just actually wanted to see a hybrid team. And I, I actually have never seen a hybrid team where they've decided to go with all Generation 1s and one Generation 2 before, which was cool. It was very cool. But we did do... I mean, I did do some uh, quick blitzes for the tower push. Um, I mean, we could probably see if this will get us to the maximum level. I believe seven, is it 750? I think it's 750. 750 is the maximum, I think. I can't remember. We're going to try. Let's, let's see if we can get past some of these ones. I mean, we're there. Yeah, okay, that's not too bad. It's going to be RNG dependent with Xiao Xiao and Slot 1, though. That's uh, the biggest risk there is if he doesn't freeze the opponent, then we're screwed. So then I'll have to put in uh, either Old Mate Zhang Wei. Or, of course, we can just put in War God if he does freeze. Ooh, Poppy Dog doing his job. Managed to get all of those ones. I am happy that uh, the billionaire event is coming up tomorrow which means that we can do a little bit of a, a little bit of a mix-up a little bit of a mix-up for this lineup uh generation two will be released tomorrow as well <laughs> you didn't hear it from me uh but we'll definitely be doing a video covering that or oh, yes need some accuracy need some accuracy Let's see if we can actually clear the, ent the entire tower. That'll be interesting to see. So far, we've locked out of RNG, which is good. RNG being uh, old mates, Xiao Xiao actually doing his control. <laughs> Always RNG. Oh, didn't lock out then. And defeated. All right. So what we can do with that is we can throw you there, throw you there, throw you there. Let's let's spice some things up. Because again, there's always tomorrow. Um, I just like testing this out against, you know, slightly stronger teams in PvE. And we managed to murder all of you, and that's good. And then you again, and then you evade, which is terrible. But let's be honest, Pangtong can't kill you anyway. So <laughs> that's a win. That's a W for us. Good old Pang Tong. Chicken the Night. Let's see. And Hal Tower's in here as, as well, so that's fine. It's good. Evades. Evades. Freezes. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. That is what we like to see, ladies and gentlemen. All the stars aligning. Can we make it to the very tippy top? That's that's gonna it's it's gonna be the question here. <laughs> Damage reduction, we can take that one. Uh, I think this is what all heroes survive. So, I mean, we're in with a shot. 
Renfrew is sharp. I mean, he's he's definitely going to kill like two thirds of the enemy team. Oof. And Pang Tong cannot attack, so we are in the clear. <laughs> RNG, let's go. We are heavily relying on RNG though. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> That's terrible. Um, <laughs> that was terrible. All right, last attempt. We only have one heart left. And yes, you can pause this and jump out and uh, reset the game while we're living on the edge here. Come on, you got to crit. You got to crit and kill them all and freeze and beautiful. We really need to win. You got to do it. You got to do it for us. Kill them all. Ah, uh, damn. We can't do it. We can't do it. All right. Well, at least now I know that uh, this one has Karkadon. I'll probably just mix up some of the rotation. Maybe, uh, maybe next time we could probably put... Uh, I mean, we could... We could spice it up like that. We could we could try the RNG uh, tomorrow. We can try Shao Shao in slot one and see if he gets to freeze off. Really is dependent on RNG. But like you said, there is a couple of attempts. And uh, I mean, we don't need to do resetting on this channel. It's fine. Living large and in charge, of course. But we are very, very close to the tippy top. 720. I definitely feel like 750 is achievable on this account. Uh, what we can do though is let's see if let's see if the old beast hunt is up. Let's go down here. Last but not least. So there's still about double our power level, but uh, with a little bit of RNG, it is certainly certainly able to to beat them. I I feel like that's that's a thing, right? Xiao Xiao's getting the RNG off. Rage reduction. Somehow didn't manage to kill us all, which is fantastic. <laughs> uh, do we have it in the bag? Let's see if Karkadin, if they have Karkadin, we might be in trouble. We might be in real trouble if they have Karkadin. And we're in real trouble. Oh, oh, he resurrected. I take that back. We're probably still in real trouble, but we did manage to resurrect, which is fantastic. Come on. All we need you to do is survive. Survive, and we're good to go. Dispel, very nice. Damage reduction, even better. Oof. Dao Chan, she is nasty. She can surprise you, but she died, so that's good. That's not a good surprise for her. <laughs> no resurrection for you, Dao Chan. And then you should probably just whack on him and win. There you go. It seemed easy, right? It, it certainly seemed easier than if, what I remember when I was attempting this on uh, War God's account. <laughs> Uh, is this the final chapter? It is the final chapter. I thought it was the final chapter. Well, that was fun. Uh, we can do a couple more fights, I guess. I already cleared out most of the tactics, but I do, I do need to go and buy one in a second. I need to keep buying them. War God is certainly powerful with that damage reduction, rage reduction. I am quite liking, uh, this setup. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think this is a powerful team for its level? Um, certainly, definitely not in the free-to-play range. <laughs> Let's be honest. This this team is not meant for free-to-play players, but... Oh, damn. He got clapped, and I didn't resurrect with that uh, charm. Ooh. Ooh. Is this the one? Are they going to kill me? maybe not, maybe not, I think we're in the clear, as long as we can stay alive long enough to, to kill old mate Sun Jiang, he, he's pretty beastly, he's going to hit us with column damage too, the other guy not so much, but yeah, okay, I think we're, I think we're in the clear,
Yes, we managed to kill him. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is this is a good setup for tomorrow because obviously there's billionaire events. So uh, I need to get as many of these pills as possible. But we might jump out of there just shortly. Um, what are we talking about? So I was trying to get... Where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Not glory hall. Don't need the glory hall action today. This one here. So we're going pretty good. And what are we, what are we ranked? Are we still ranked? 51. Not bad. 51. <laughs> Considering all the powers that are above us. 51. I wonder if we can maintain that rank. That'll be nice. These, these chests down here are very valuable. Um, obviously this is the desired, no, this, no, not that one. This is the desired artifact glamour. Um, so pushing hard here is very important. I'll be, um, I'm aiming to start pushing very, very hard with, uh, PB's account, but if it's a possibility to get within the rank of, you know, top 50, uh, even those additional chests here is going to really help out. But in saying that I'm going to grab you. So that should be good. And I'm going to go into a bag and grab you as well. 10 of you is good. So that means we get to make iron defense. And I feel like everybody should probably be guessing where we're going to put it on. Who do you think PB is going to put this on? <laughs> well, if you guessed this guy here, you'd be absolutely correct. <laughs> I'm going to make this guy as tanky as tanky can be. I guarantee you that much. So basically, he gets block rate and defense when his HP drops below 50% for the first time for three rounds. I just want to make this guy as, as tanky as humanly possible. <laughs> and it's very enjoyable. So let's see if we can rank this uh, talent tree up a little bit. Grab some additional power. I mean, some attack is always nice. And I think, I think we'll be close. We'll be, we should be close to being able to get this one ranked up. So we got it to level two. That's enough. What about research? What do we need here? We need two books. Whoa. I don't think I've got enough for two books. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Sees, uh, it's arcade. It's over here. Military debate. What do we need for the book? What do we need? We need 10 more for the book. So that's one book down. Um, maybe we can afford one with the Celebrate Festival. How many do we need here? Get out of that. Get out of that. Can I, can I buy books with this? Do, do, do. Where's my books at? Ooh, it costs three? No. One, okay, I'm like, three, that's expensive. So we're gonna have to grab books from here. Can I buy books with this? I can't. Ugh, I can't buy books with that. How many training pools or accessory stones? I'll think about that in a second. We have until tomorrow uh, to get those ones anyway. And of course to spend our um, lamb steaks on both accounts. So. That should be fine there, but in saying that, how, how short are we going to be? So if I synthesize this and I go to obtain some more gear, uh, debate shop, how many can we get? 16. What do we get tomorrow? Let me have a look. Well, I know, I know, I apologize. I did have a look at some of these subtitle options, but um, they seem to be pretty limited with YouTube. You actually need to like, you need to physically go in and do the subtitles yourself. And I don't speak Arabic or Filipino, so it is a little bit annoying. Um, if you have any suggestions for like applications that can do it for me, <laughs> I'll take that on board. Uh, but what do we get? Can we get anything? Uh, we get two. We will get fifty of those tomorrow. So we will get 50 tomorrow. How many do we have there? So 28 plus that. So if we buy two more, that lets us at 30. Perfect. All right, so tomorrow we can definitely get an upgraded book for uh, this one. So that'll be number two. And then, 
Do I have any legendaries? Let's have a look. Do, 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 bag. What's my consumables at? Consumables. I don't think I have. Do I not have any of these things? I'm probably looking in the wrong spot. That's why. Gear, tactics, shards. Oh, I do have one legendary. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I should be able to upgrade this bad boy to tier two. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see. If my math is right, we should be close to being able to tier to it. So we can pull these ones out. Maybe we get lucky. No, we did not get lucky. Grab you. We do have some coins here, which is nice. We'll grab those because, of course, this account is probably the luckiest account I've ever played in any game. <laughs> the amount of things that I hit on this thing is just phenomenal. But, and of course, thank you so much, Mr. Jetlag. We'll grab our free gold and weapons token for there. What else is there? We should probably buy weapons tokens as well. Oh, I'm a little bit short. Let's see. Let's see. I'll grab some of these ones. Grab some of them. Grab here. How short are we? 40k. 40k is the goal. 34k. Let's go to our bag, Star Karma. Bag, sell. And we can sell... We can sell a couple of these ones. We'll sell a couple of these ones. Should be fine. How many more? I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Grab you. Grab you. Boom. Beautiful. And what weapon should we pick? <laughs> Let's see which one. Rank up. No. It refine. PvP damage reduction? Nah. This one here for sure. Accuracy evasion HP. You know what? Let's uh let's go with this one. Let's see if we can get something a bit better. Damage first shoe. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know about any of this stuff, but we're just gonna take the damage first shoe. I mean, obviously we're not gonna re-roll that, but you know, additional damage on this uh this guy here that can't be bad, right? Because he's so tanky, so. The more damage we do to other nations, it might actually be beneficial for us in the end, right? That's that's my logic. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you if you stuck around till the end. Uh, like I said, tomorrow is going to be Billionaire's event, so stay tuned for that. We will be building Thunder Pony on this account, 100% guaranteed. And of course, testing that out with a little bit of uh, Master Orator action as well. Hopefully this was a fun video for you all and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.